Happy New Year, everyone, from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida, home of the Outback Bowl, the first football game of 2008. Matching 18th-ranked Wisconsin, the Badgers are 9-3. They'll take on 16th-ranked Tennessee, the Vols 9-4. The Badgers won the toss and deferred, so Tennessee will receive the opening kickoff. Dennis Rogan, the true freshman, averaging 30 yards per kickoff return, trying to take the boot. And he'll down it about four yards deep in the end zone. The starting lineup is presented by Yellow. Sitting out for an academic suspension. He's the headliner on offense among those suspended. Range fires almost intercepted. Threw it right into the hands of Javery McFadden, a backup line. Sitting out the academic suspension for the balls. On third down, Donovan has his man, Paul Hubbard. First down, fumbles. And it's recovered by Tennessee. D'Angelo Willingham picked up the free ball and brought it back to the 34-yard line. Eric Ainge takes a shotgun snap. Under duress, got it off, caught. First down and more. Denarius Moore off to the races. And tripped up from behind at the 27-yard line by Jonathan Casillas, who saved the touchdown. Who will play the bulk of the corner opposite Ikeguanu today. And Josh Daniels actually shot he had pretty decent coverage there. That was a well-thrown ball by Ainge. Find the window and fit it through. Second and six. Foster, nice bounce to the outside to the right. And he appears to have the first down. There's Ben Strickland. Foster circled back a bit, cost himself the first down. So now it's Ainge at 6'6", 220 pounds, powering for the first down to the 17-yard line. Ten minutes to go was returned for a touchdown that gave LSU the lead. Then Tennessee was driving to reclaim the lead. They were in the red zone when Ames threw another INT. Here's Foster with a first down. He lowered his shoulder, went out of bounds at the... Gerald Jones has come in at quarterback. Generally, he runs, and he runs in the end zone for a first down and a touchdown. You see the power right there. Limped off. Now the freshman Daniel Lincoln adds the extra point and Tennessee is first on the board at around 80 degrees all week. The Badgers have enjoyed that. They've had a very snowy December back home in Madison. Here's David Gilreath the freshman record setting return man for the Badgers. And it looked like he might have been face masked. As I was looking around to see who he was talking to. First time we've been referred to as distinguished but it's a new year. Here's Lance Smith. First down inside the 10 yard line to start 21 and 4 for the 37 year old head coach, former defensive coordinator. Third and goal, Wisconsin looking for a tying touchdown. Donovan runs, touchdown! The ball's out, but he's in the end zone. Makes plays often with his feet. He made a big play on the run here to perhaps tie the game Ooh. if they get the extra point. What a shot he took from Eric Berry. Yeah. And cheap shot were being thrown around. Mm. It hasn't taken long to work up some venom between these Big Ten and SEC teams. Montario hardest day off to the races for Tennessee. And out of bounds of the 44-yard line of Wisconsin. Significantly worse defensively than they were a year ago. But they were better in the second half of the year. When Hancock's wide open, he has a first down for the balls. Down to the 17. He's one of the most accurate passers in college football. Very tight line formation there. Lennon Creer. Looked like Ames tried to hand it to him. The ball got knocked out, and Nick Hayden has recovered for Wisconsin. So Tennessee went into the bag of tricks and outsmarted themselves. They turn it over. Why? Why go into it, Sean? You don't have to go into it. Right here, they're going to sneak the ball to him. Lennon Creer right there. You don't need to do this. Wisconsin can see him back there. Your quarterback at the shots he's taking. Yeah, Brenda <laughs> is agonizing. D.J. Hill rumbles close to another first down. Ryan Carl made the tackle. Experience they've had here. Trips to Bush Gardens. The Badgers went to the Tampa Bay Lightning hockey game the other night. Donovan under duress. His experience went downhill in a hurry. Robert Ayers with this from uh, second and three than it is in uh, second and ten. Your son Nathaniel is going to walk on as a quarterback at Notre Dame this season. What advice did you give him? Have fun. <laughs> you know, it's a lot of work. It's a big step up from all the tools to be an excellent NFL quarterback. 
Well, Eric said confidently we visited him yesterday. If he can get to a bowl game or the combine where he can throw against the other top quarterbacks, he feels he'll demonstrate he's as good as they are. Lost to be a safety or a corner. On third down and seven, Donovan throws to Garrett Graham. Did the lunge get the first down? Donovan took another shot. Put a pad on it. You'll be all right. He did suffer injuries, bruised hands to both hands during the year. Ainge on target. Boston Rogers the catch. DeAndre Levy the tackle of the third day for Rogers. Aaron Foster back in at running back. A play action fake to him. A ball to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, Tennessee. Josh Briscoe. both safeties and it has been an inconsistent year of safety play for Wisconsin this year 29 yard touch really working the officials not worried about the hit that hurt his knee worried about the hit because he says it's been helmet to helmet remember Donovan that touchdown run where he got in Bielema upset saying that was a head to head shot very very tough young man and, uh, and the shot wasn't from the contact his foot got caught in the turf with the latest injury Everidge, a transfer from Kansas State, trying to set up a screen. It's dropped by Zach Brown, recovered by Tennessee, and now they're saying it. He's a great student of all sports. Play action pass by Eric, dumps it off in the flat. Denarius Moore with a lot of running room. That was way too easy for Tennessee. On third down, they convert. Defender within 15 yards. Tennessee moving ahead 14 to 7 in the second quarter. Angel a lot of time throws has another man wide open. It's Brad Cottom inside the 10. Touchdown Tennessee. The catch of the year for Brad Cottom who missed the first nine games with a broken wrist. Extra point is deflected and had enough to get up and over. As big an impact player as any player in the country on offense. And there's three biggest games against Michigan, Ohio State, and Illinois. They throw to the other tight end, Garrett Graham. And it's a first down to the 44. <laughs> well, options in Canada. He's already sent some tapes up there with Tyler's ability to be mobile. His skills might suit the CFL game. After the fake, dumped off to Garrett Graham. Coaches are very high on Graham, the sophomore from Brick, New Jersey. The Badgers. What a move by P.J. Hill behind the line of scrimmage. Looked like they had him trapped. Yo, the Badgers moving down by 14 points. Second and six for Donovan. Has a man open, Kyle Jefferson. One of the balls lost a helmet. It's Ryan Hema. <laughs> So he's still making a name for himself in his second year as the head coach. Donovan, the throwback, has a man wide open. Touchdown, Wisconsin, Andy Crooks. First catch of the year for Andy Crooks. Melhoff, the extra point by Johnson. And they grew up with Joe Thomas, the great offensive tackle now in the NFL with the Browns. Ames throws, first down, Austin Rogers. Sophomore from Nashville, tackled by Javery McFadden. Right way. And they felt like they should have won the SEC title game against LSU. They feel like they gave it away. Ainge under a blitz. Threw incomplete to Jeff. <laughs> Pretty sure that was not a member of your family. Lance Smith into the open. They've had a very hard time getting the running game going. Wisconsin to the Tennessee 40. Donovan given plenty of time that time. And it's another drop ball by Jefferson. That one could play it all year. Make the play. Yeah. Stepped in when Luke Swan was injured. The bush is pun, and there's Ben Strickland in the right place again. To down it at the one. Third down and nine. Tennessee from its own two. Dumped off short to Chris Brown. He slips down as he crossed the five-yard line. On their way to the playoff. On first down, it's P.J. Hill. Chris Spielman said during the commercial, you'd expect P.J. and Anthony Davis and Ron Dane. Under four minutes to go third quarter. Neither team has scored in this half. Donovan on a design run. Gets about seven. Chase to the bottom. 
First and ten. 23 yards on two carries on this drive for Hill. Donovan again running right. <laughs> Lunges. Last year, when we're talking about Ohio State got beat last year because they got beat physically in every part of the game. Had nothing to do with track meets. Zach Brown and Lance Smith practicing pretty well. Big play here, third down and five from the Tennessee 10. The toss back to Smith. Flag down to the corner. He's down to the line of scrimmage. Jump 20 out of 24. He's the most accurate field goal kicker in Wisconsin history at 76.6%. And he hooks that one through. Three. And they open the fourth quarter with third down and 16 from their own 14-yard line, leading 21-17. Ames throws a bullet. Josh Briscoe a first down out to the 35 yard line. Javery McMahon. They converted a third down and 16 a moment ago. Now third down and eight. Wisconsin showing blitz and they bring it right up the middle. Ainge got it off. First down. Denarius Moore. Pulled out of bounds by Josh Nettles. Third down conversion of this possession for Eric Ainge and the balls. Doesn't have anywhere to throw it. Now throws it. And it is caught by Briscoe, but he's out of bounds. It's passing now with 304. Blitz again. Quick throw again. First down again. Gerald Jones all the way to the 15. Well, they keep. Two carries for 39 yards against LSU in the title game. Scored a touchdown earlier out of the quarterback position. Gave it this time to Arian. Third down and seven when Jones is in there. It's almost definitely going to be a run, and Wisconsin knows that. Matthew Shaughnessy made the tackle. What support? Uh, well, I think he deserves it. He got it. But... Lincoln's kick is blocked by Elijah Hodge. And Ben Strickland falls on the ball out at the 27-yard line. You remember Elijah Hodge got a piece of an extra point, and that's effort, never quitting. And you'll see Elijah Hodge. He got carries 82 yards for P.J. Hill. He's the lone back. Two tight ends on the field for the Badgers. Hill again showing that shiftiness behind the line. Looking to go. Hefney and Barry, and it's Hefney who tracks him down at the 18-yard line. Deceptively quick and great feet for the big fella. Reminds me of Ron Four-man rush for Tennessee. Donovan with time. Throws. It's caught, but short of the first down. Travis Beckham's first catch of the day on fourth down. And it's Donovan on a design rollout. And now he's looking for help. And he is out of time and throws it away. Gerard Mayo. Three and a half minutes to go. Third down and four. Ainge dumps it off. Here's Briscoe with another third down conversion, and he flies into Wisconsin territory. Badger's saying that he fumbled, and they have the ball, and the officials are conferring, and they do have the ball. Jay Belay came away with it. Ball is caught. If the ball's caught behind the line of scrimmage, it's a legal play. That's a legal play, and it's an excellent call because Cotton comes across the line of scrimmage, picks off Strickland, drills him. Nobody's accounting for the Briscoe who's coming in motion. Execution and David Cutcliffe again drawing him up up there. Beautiful call and a crucial third down. Remaining. After review, the ruling on the field is reversed. The Wisconsin player did not have possession of the ball inbound. It'll be first down for Tennessee. At the 15 for Tennessee. At the Wisconsin 45, the balls lead by four. They do keep it on the ground. Arian Foster breaks the tackle, then gets pulled down. Uh, credit in the defensive players. They've done a very good job taking away Beckham. He's wide to the right as Donovan drops on third and seven. Completes it. First down, Garrett Graham. Good run after the catch. They swung him down, but he went. It was a first down. The chains are set. The clock should be running. 40 seconds to go. Donovan throws, caught, and then Beckham takes a hit out of bounds. Are they going to throw a flag on that? Look, Brown, the running back.
Four man rush. One came off the edge. Deep ball. It is intercepted. Antonio Wardlow, a backup safety. Sophomore from Winston Salem, North Carolina, picked off a pass intended for Paul Hubbard, and that should do it for Tennessee. Great job of discipline by Ward. And Donovan played valiantly. But in the end, it was Eric Ainge, Philip Fulmer, and the Volunteers who emerged victorious. Eric Ainge is our Capital One player of the game. 365 yards on 25 out of 43. Two touchdowns and no interceptions. And a nice way to end his career to bounce back after the difficulties in the SEC title game when he threw two costly fourth quarters.